Okay, we've been given a question here where it's asking us to calculate the pH of a resulting solution that is formed when we have uh, a particular amount of an acid, hydrochloric acid, with a pH of 4.5 is mixed with a particular amount of sodium hydroxide that has a pH of 10.2. So basically what we have here is we have a neutralization reaction where we're going to have hydrochloric acid which is in aqueous form plus sodium hydroxide also in aqueous form is going to neutralize to give a salt which is just sodium chloride or table salt and water so what we have here is we're going to have two different amounts of acid and base being mixed together so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out the number of moles of each to begin with and then we're going to have to see which one is in excess so which one is going to be left over so to start with we're going to let's calculate the number of moles of hydrogen ions in the hydrochloric acid so the number of moles of hydrogen ions is what we're going to do. Great. So that's, we'll call this step one. Okay. So to do this, we're going to need to utilize the formula um, that pH is equal to the negative log. of the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution. So we know that the pH is 4.5. And that's going to be equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So we can rearrange this and get that the hydrogen ion concentration is going to be equal to 10 to the power of negative 4.5. Cool. And that equals 3.162 which is equal to 3.162 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per litre. Great, so now we've got the concentration. We're going, we have to work out the number of moles, so we're going to use the formula the number of moles is equal to the concentration times the volume. So this is going to equal 3.162 times 10 to the negative 5. And we're going to multiply that by the volume and now this has to be in litres so it's going to be 0.12. And we find that that is equal to 3.794 times 10 to the negative 6. And that's moles. So that's the moles of H plus in the hydrochloric acid solution. So now we have to go about finding the moles of OH- minus in the hydroxide, so step two. We have to work out the number of moles of OH- minus. So again, we're going to use the formula pH is equal to negative log H plus. 
the, and then we can find that H plus for this one is going to be equal to 10 to the negative 10.2. which we find is equal to 6.31 times 10 to the negative 11. Moles per litre. Great. But to be perfectly honest with this one, we're not interested in the hydrogen ion concentration. We're interested in the hydroxide ion concentration. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this formula the constant for the disassociation of water, pure water which is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration and this is all at 25 degrees, is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Okay, so now that we have that, we can use this and we can go, well, the we can rearrange it and go, well, the hydroxide ion concentration must be equal to the K of water, which is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14, divided by the concentration of hydrogen, which we worked out would be 6.31 times 10 to the negative 11. And we find that to be 5.1.585 times 10 to the negative 4. Cool. So then we can use the formula the number of moles of hydroxide is going to equal the concentration times the volume. Now we know that the concentration is 1.585 times 10 to the negative 4 and we're going to multiply this by the volume which is in litres, so it has to be 0 0.075 and that's going to be equal to 1.189 times 10 to the negative 5 mole. Okay, so now that we've figured out our two molar amounts of hydrogen and hydroxide, we can see that the hydroxide is going to be in excess. So this one here is going to be the one that's left over. No. Okay. So we'll just separate this. Cool. So we have to figure out 
how much is going to be left over. So the way we do that is so the number of moles of OH minus is going to be remaining is going to equal that subtract that. Not a very complicated thing to understand. And that's just because all of the hydrogen neutralizes part of the hydroxide. So 189 subtract Three point seven nine four times ten to negative six, and this is equal to eight point zero nine five six times 10 to the negative 5 mole of OH. So that's going to be what's remaining. So we then have to use this to work out what the pH of the resulting solution is. So to start with, we have to find the new concentration of hydroxide. So we're looking for the new concentration of hydroxide and that's going to be equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. So the number of moles of hydroxide is equal to 8.0956 divided by oh, times 10 to the negative 5 divided by the volume which is 0 0.12 add 0 0.075 and we find that gives us 4.1516 oh one six times ten to the negative five moles per litre, and that's of, of hydroxide. We then have to work out the number of moles or the concentration of hydro hydrogen ions to find out, so then we can use that to find the new pH. So Step four, I guess, is we're going to calculate the number of the concentration of hydrogen ions in the resulting solution, and that's going to be equal to one point zero times by. Ten to the negative fourteen divided by the number of mole or the concentration of hydroxide four point one five one six times ten to the negative five and we find that that's equal to 2.41 times 10 to the negative 10 moles 
per litre to the negative one. Cool. So finally, the fifth step then is we have to calculate the pH. which is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So, this is going to be equal to, if we just plug in this number here into this formula, we get equaling the resulting pH as being 9.62. So this implies that the the resulting solution is basic. So it's got a pH greater than 7. Okay.